siis see oma väikse labidaga seal toimetad. Ma tuli selle suurele labide lappi. Tuli, tuli teha? Jah. Õige, õige. Vahepeal peab abis olema. Jah. Well, at least the snowblow works sort of good. Man, she will never rest. She's like the Duracell bunny in, uh, I don't know, female form. This looks pretty cool though. It's like a snow wave. Let's go surfing. Võtan sul töö ära kõik. Võtan töö ära ja... Job well done. Job well done. Anna patsa nüüd mulle, mis siis jevid? Mis sa siin ihmis keelest ära ju? See põhjab minu viga. Bad ass. What the hell, bro? What is going on? It just finished yesterday. Where did this all come from? Wow. I think this is like the biggest snowstorm we've ever had. And it just keeps getting worse. It just keeps coming.
for dudes. I think I have a new favorite pastime. Just pushing snow. So much fun now. Boy, there is a lot of it though. Whatever, man. The more the better. Please, send more snow. I will be waiting. Well, you look at that. Quite the view. And that thing is pretty cool during the winter time. So I've been kind of working on the cabin lately. Actually, I just finished, finished sanding the floor and now I'm getting ready to vacuum it. And hopefully by the end of the day, I get my first epoxy layer on here. Not sure how it will turn out. Hopefully. It will rock. Man, what a big sty. Holy moly. No, that's for now. Now lately it has been a bit cold. Not really that bad right now. But we had minus 26 about 6 hours ago. At least the cabin is nice and warm. This thing is definitely do much for this place. But it does help me out a lot. Now let's go check out the river thing or stream I mean. Great that thing still works. Once the temperatures just kind of go very low on this area the water is just kind of I guess it kind of gets blocked and uh, then the water will force a new way for itself. And then that gets frozen and then eventually the water just builds up ice layers, I suppose. We have water here already, so it's already over the bank area. I mean, uh, I think I can give you a reference. I mean, this log, for example. Maybe I can pull some footage from the summertime. Let's compare. How does this log look? Or I mean, how low the water table is during the summertime. Uh, so yeah, it looks like this. What is that? Like half a meter? A bit more? Bro, this ice thickness here that has built up. It's just ridiculous. Got my own personal glacier going on. Probably shouldn't go on it. Maybe you can't get out anymore. It's pretty badass actually. Let's see what's here. Definitely some glacier business going on there. Just check this out. You can even see the water try to overflow and then just grows. I'm gonna dimp it to go closer, but I just don't wanna die. At least uh, not right now, I still need to finish the cabin. Maybe after. Looks like the freezing situation just continues. But it kinda just stops on this point. It's always, either it stops from that area or somewhere on this point and it's pretty normal from this point onwards I would think that uh, the ice build up it would occur at the bottleneck like for example the breach or something or here but it just continues normally from this area I assume that the water flow is just a bit too big or do much for any um, any measurable ice to build up. Maybe if it gets really cold. Oh, look, we even have some green. Uh, what is that grass? Green stream grass at minus twenty degrees. That's cool, I guess. Back to the cabin. Let's go back to the cabin. 
But for you guys, that video is most likely out by now. So let's go do something else. What is going on? Super mom already plowed in some bad ways. Wow. You're going on weird though. She she's not even here. Probably took a taxi here. Showered some snow in the 1 a.m. time frame and then just disappeared. What a badass. No, that's a badass. I wish I had the snow plow for that thing. Alright, that thing doesn't work. Looks like one of the customers finally brought back the fire tracks. I was beginning to lose hope actually. The guy did not respond my phone calls anymore. Took him about two months to bring them back. If you're wondering, it's it's about 8 a.m. right now. Perfect weather, man. Oh look, we got a couple of deers there. I'm not sure if you can see them. There's one is f oh, there's more. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Come here. I'm hungry. Do not run away from me, man. That view. Wow. This is just beautiful. There is absolutely nobody here. And I'm loving it. Bro, I don't think this thing will start at minus 20. And I don't really want to build a campfire under it. The engine is covered in oil and it's probably gonna burn down. This thing does have uh, glow blocks, but they don't work. For some reason, the glow block switch has been disconnected. Probably an easy fix, maybe a blown fuse or something. That's nice. It feels really good. Anyway, this thing is empty. I need to bring another load in. Couldn't really pick a better day. Minus 20. I don't think that thing will go. No bueno. It's not happening. Wonder if this thing will go. Bro, I don't think it's even worth trying this. It won't even spin most likely. What? The mass switch it broke or something. It doesn't stay locked anymore. Oh. Whoops. Dude, that thing doesn't even spin. Holy cow, it's cold. Stupid thing broke. Oh, never mind. Now it works. Man, even the, even the gear. Bro, even the gear froze into the ignition switch. Sucks. Huh. What's next, man? What do we have left? Wow, what a image. Okay, I could probably try to start that thing up. It's kind of pointless. I can't uh, lift pallets with this thing. I think. Kurdi napu jälle jumala jääs, mine pekki jää. Gonna stop torturing the thing. Gotta wait for better weather, man. That's why I wanted to keep this thing inside the shop. At least here I can keep the temperature up. Yeah, I kind of regret parking this thing in here. Currently I have no idea when I'm gonna get that thing fixed. 
kind of just takes up useful space. Yesterday we were sitting at minus minus 28 guys. Right now it's plus three. Crazy how the weather can just change. Just like that. Let me check the brick wall out. It's still frozen solid from uh, last night. Yet uh, yeah it's plus three right now. Everything's melting. Solid ice everywhere. Anything with a piece of mass. It's just a frozen block right now. Let me check that concrete block out. It's completely frozen solid. It will take a while to warm up. Same deal, completely frozen. By the way, the weather apes. They did mention that we are gonna get negative 20 by the end of the week. So it's kind of going up and down right now. Kind of all over the place. But um, while we have this amazing opportunity, to actually work outside. Let's go fix something. So the Santa Claus, he's been uh, working on the washroom there. And he said that, uh, he called me up and said that one of the doors kind of broke. Hmm. That can be healthy. Great. And this door is so heavy. Right, good. I just love walking in the winter. Take three steps forward, seven steps backwards. It's so annoying. That's not a great design. Why is the thing hidden? I can't even access it to replace it. Need to dismantle like half a door. It is not doing much better down there. What about that one?
No, I really hate this building. The door set up on it is just horrible. Guys, whenever you build a building, never install the doors against the mountain. I mean, against the slope. It's such a bad idea. I haven't really bothered to fix it because I'm just planning to close this. Yeah, I want to get rid of this door. And I want to make a concrete platform on this side and install a new door there. Just the entrance would be on the side, not from there. But I just have so much stuff going on that I haven't been able to do it. Yet they still need this building, so let's just do a quick fix for it. Check it out. The previous door apparently was here. I should make another door and install the thing here. Just kind of keep going. That would be kind of weird. And these things just get so stuck with the ears. These things just last forever. Probably like 100 years old. Grazie, io non li trovo alla casa. The longest bolts that the hardware store had. Però io non credo che siano lunghi. Yeah, they're not even long enough. I'm gonna go with plan B. I will just buy some bigger bolts later. Guys, don't buy bolts at a newspaper kiosk. That will never end well.
great success. First time in two years, guys. I don't need a bri bar to open the store. I can't really leave these here. Anyone can really just pop them open. So I will go to the hardware store tomorrow, uh, get some longer bolts, then we should be good. It's something that you can turn from the outside, like I had, but they were just not long enough. Luckily, I don't really have anything to steal from here. Pointless piles of crap here. But anyway, let's go do something else. You know what? This camera stand, man. I made it myself about three years ago. I just put the thing together from scrap parts. Very simple, just steel plate, some tubing, some rod, bunch of pipes, and some, uh, I don't know, what to even call those things. Nose clips. The camera goes right there. I can tilt the thing anywhere I want. And put the camera in really awkward positions. It's great. I will continue using this. Best invention I've ever made. So yeah, do those. Let's go do something else. This was fun. I would take this design over any stupid tripod. You know those plastic tripods that cost ridiculous amounts of monies? This is so much better. I could say it has fallen down numerous times, but actually it doesn't really, it doesn't really fall down a lot. It's pretty stable. Even the camera nicely stays on its position. It definitely has endured some uh, violence, but it still survived. Just like the day I built it. I like the fact that I don't need to undo anything. I can just change the height of the thing as please. This is the highest it will go. It's about my height, so what, 1.86 meters. And that's the lowest point. Really, really love this thing. But uh, these days I'm kind of working on uh, multiple projects at the same time. And this thingy does have a downside. Slightly on the heavy side. Nothing really uh, serious, but I would say it's maybe like six kilos or something like that. So it would be cool if uh, I had two of them. So I can nicely work on two projects and not haul this thing around like a little doggy. So let's follow the same principle. Let's make another one out of uh, spare parts. I, I'm not gonna buy anything for this build, just like I did with this one. So, need a steel blade. Too much? I mean, it's only 15 millimeters thick. As cool as this would be, it's not gonna solve my weight problem. Essentially, I got three choices. Either we can go with uh, some tank armor, bulldozer, blade thing, or a giant hole. This is not going so good. I found this thing. This is much better. I think that's like eight. Yeah, definitely eight. Dude, it's exactly the same size. Score. this piece already has a pretty drilled hole how convenient
should hold. Bunch of convenient holes. Perfect. Double perfect. I gotta adjust the tightness later. It kinda needs to turn, but it needs to hold the camera from falling over. I need another convenient hole. It's kinda, kinda on the small size, but... idea where this is from kind of needs to be straight but only only this way it needs to be straight this way Make up your mind, man. Yeah, definitely this thing will work its way in, I'm sure of that. It's almost finished, I just need to add a couple of um, adjustable pipes. Any pipe should work. Aluminium would be best. Just happen to have some steel pipe that nicely kind of fits into each other. And just tighten the thing until it just moves smoothly, I guess. So okay, I have to uh, make the cap a bit wider because the steel ends just kind of contact each other and uh, it doesn't tighten enough. The tape is just there, so you could you could not pull the thing out, so it, it will stop at at a certain point. Very simple from this point onward. Yeah. Add more tape and repeat. The new super stand is even taller than the original one. Okay, now to mount the camera uh, to make sure the thing does not fall off. You could find the um, correct size pipe, or at least a partially correct. You can always add some tape to make the size a bit more suitable. Or if you have some pointless hole saws laying around, which 
fit this setup perfectly. Yeah, you can just kind of weld it there, I suppose. Holy. Not good. That thing is really dull. Maybe I've made it a bit too big, but whatever, man. It's great. Now I have two of them. Actually, I always wanted to have two of them. That thing has worked out so well, <laughs> and uh, I always wanted to build a second one. But I just haven't had any time, man. You know how it is, always busy. But uh, yeah. A little bit of paint goes a long way. Really like this dark blue. Works very well. But anyway guys, board. Guys, is it normal for these things to only work for about a year and then die? I didn't think so. What a bunch of crap, man. There we go. Although I did buy a new one, um, I still have warranty on this one. Because it's only, it's not even a year old, I think like eight months or something. And it's not the first time this has happened. I had another light, just like this, same deal. Only a selected few of those LEDs would work. So last time I addressed this issue, a bunch of you did say that uh, the problem is in the sensor, the motion uh, tracking sensor and not the LED itself. If you look closely, most of the LEDs, they look um, like LEDs. But on some of them, there is this dark spot in the middle. Not sure if that means anything, but um, I'm gonna test that theory out. I'm gonna try to bypass this stupid motion sensor, directly baby feed the thing, and see if the light uh, comes on or not. Yeah, 
I suppose the warranty is not valid anymore. Man, I'm starting to lose my patience. Where's my chainsaw? I <sighs> just, um, just gotta figure out which one is which. Well, basically, if I like solder the red and brown together, the thing should work. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Well, in theory, should be correctly hooked up now. And if the motion sensor was faulty, then it should work. Unless there are some important bits here, which will not make it work. Not really sure about that. And there is a capacitor here, a resistor, more resistors. I will hide behind my table. Something happening? No, the same BS as before. So it's not a problem with the sensor. It's the issue is in the LED itself. It's like trying to go, but it's not going. Didn't those clowns say that uh, LEDs are gonna last forever? Now, I'm no expert in time stuff, but I don't think eight months is forever. I gotta get this back to the store somehow. Maybe I can get a new one. Mm. Yeah. So guys, before we wrap up this uh, audience episode, you know, usually I do everything myself, at least so far. But because the sister has been living here full time, she kind of managed to talk the Santa Claus into fixing up the washroom. It all started with a simple door change. We just wanted a new door, but you know how it is. Things just kind of took up from there. Like went full rebuild mode. Now we have a completely new bathroom here. Completely new washroom. Really nice tiles everywhere. New roof on it. New floor on it. New crap box. New miniature crap box. That thing, that thing shelves. Yeah, it all started with a simple door change. We just wanted a new door. The previous door we had it was horrible it was some um it was some old wooden door thing would just kind of drag on the floor would not close properly also sometimes when you locked it you were kind of unable to unlock it so we had to use the crowbar or something to unlock the bathroom door this is not a great experience you know some people might get panic attacks or something when they're trapped in uh, tiny areas so yeah this is how it came out i think I think the guy did a great job and it's just between you and me, he specializes in this. So, so the Santa Claus actually works in Finland, mostly building bathrooms. He does a bunch of other work as well, but mostly the guy focuses on bathrooms <sighs> or, or washrooms. I'm not really sure which the correct term is. Yeah. I look at this and I see like professional great work and probably if I try to do this, I would never be able to do such of a good job. The best part is that most of these materials, I mean everything, not just the dials, this, that, 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 even that, this and that. Everything the guy got for free. Everything is just leftovers from his workplace. I think the guy owns the company where he works. I'm not really sure about the setup there, but I think he's the owner. 
or at least one of the owners. And they usually take these huge projects, mostly work on apartment buildings and such. And you know how it is. There are just mountains of leftovers. He can probably get his hands on almost anything. Because like I said, he doesn't work only in uh, washroom areas. He pretty much does everything. So that's why the guy has brought me a lot of construction supplies as well. To be honest, the door wasn't the only reason we wanted to do the washroom. Maybe some of you remember, I had uh, like a like a brick wall on this area. The wall is really old and uh, this side is still this side is still nicely out. But this wasn't a good wall for a washroom because uh, when you were taking the shower, the water would degrade the wall over time. The mortar between the rocks just started to crumble. It was obvious we needed to fix that because we don't want to remove this uh, wall. This is sort of like a historical thing. This is the first firewall in this building. It's probably about a hundred years old. So if you don't know what a firewall is, actually I don't know if the firewall is the correct way to pronounce it, but it, the wall itself is hollow inside. It, it has brick on one side, the brick on the other side, but inside has these tunnels going on. Tunnels go like this, just kind of zigzagging until the exit, I guess. At one point in time, it was connected with the chimney, but I don't know what chimney, because there was no chimney in this location. There was a chimney there and a chimney way over there, but nothing in this area. But we know for a fact that this wall was used for fire, because the insides of it was just dark, dark charcoal type of deal in there. So at some point in time, it was used as a firewall to heat up this area, I guess. Actually, this kitchen, it was not a single room. Then there was a wall on this spot and the wall reached somewhere here. So this corner was a completely separate room. There was a doorway right here. This doorway was completely walled off. We did not know there was a doorway here until we kind of went through it with a sledgehammer. But anyway, now that firewall is nicely protected behind this tile, and inside the firewall, we did install that um, time time gap solding. You know, message in a bottle type of deal. Basically, we just kind of wrote our story and we put that bottle in um, this uh, firewall. And this was like eight years ago now, so it's been there for a while and hopefully it will stay there forever. But anyway, guys, this washroom, I did some sort of a time lapse about it. There's a lot of content, but I'm gonna try to kind of squish all that mess together and so you guys can see how this washroom transformed. And then let's wrap up this video. And I will see you in the next one.